So it's August and another big Windows update has come and gone. Well, unless you're my Surface Pro 6. But guess what? There are very little improvements to managing wireless networks in Windows 10, even though from Windows 7, we all know Microsoft can do it. All we get is this new lock icon to show off a secure network, and that's it. Anyways, even though we do not have any real new improvements with this update, some of the locations of the old features from last video have changed over the years, with Microsoft trying to make everyone more reliant on the new UI by making features hidden by taking more and more clicks. But here are four ways to manage wireless networks in Windows 10 after the May 2020 update. To skip to a certain section, find the timestamp in the description. The first way is the easiest but has the least functionality. First, go to settings. Then go to network and internet. Then go to Wi Fi. Now you hit manage no networks. Now you can see all the networks that you've joined. So take, for example, let's go to the one that says Rainbow Cloud Advanced. Hit properties. And now you can see all the settings that you have. So first, you can connect automatically when it's in range. Just swipe to turn it off. You can change it if you want to do from a public network or a private network so other PCs on the network can see you. You can set it as a metered connection. You can edit the IP assignment. And you can see all the information regarding the Wi-Fi address. So what band is it? So it's doing Wi-Fi 5. Wi-Fi 6 has yet to come out yet. It's on an AC. The network band's 5 gigahertz. And then you can see all the other aspects of it right here. So this is basically all that there is. So this is still limited because you can't see the passwords of old networks and you can't set up a Wi-Fi connection to be the default. And you still can't even change the priorities of these Wi-Fi networks. So in order to gain these functionalities, there are three ways to do that. There is the program called Wi-Fi Profile Manager, which I'm going to describe next. So this is Wi-Fi Profile Manager. The download will of course be in the description. Now you can right click on any Wi-Fi profile and find the password. So let's right click on TechRich and let's see the properties. It's right here. It says broadcast mode is unavailable, which will be done for a lot of them. You can see the connection type is auto, and you find the password is make sure to subscribe. You can also change the priority, meaning which will connect. So take for example, if you have two Wi-Fi profiles, such as TechRich and Rainbow Cloud Advance, which are both on the same area, such as the same room, what you would do is you would move this up, Wait for it to refresh. As you can tell from right there, it is buggy, meaning that I just moved this all the way up to the top, and yet I had to restart the program in order to see that is now up on the top. So although it is a great tool, sometimes as you saw, it is a little bit buggy with not showing the right information, or that you have to restart it in order to see the effects of moving priority. Furthermore, some people have illustrated that this program does not work on their device. So to fix these issues, I created an easy to use program with text based menus. The link will also be in the description for you to download. So let's check that out. So now that you've had this program installed, we can now continue. So basically, the instructions are just follow along with the text and type the value when asked. The values are Y for yes, N for no, and profile is the name of the Wi-Fi profile that you want to change. So first, press any key to continue. So here are the list of all the Wi-Fi profiles that your computer is connected to. We saw that with the first way that I 
Illustrated, as well as with the Wi-Fi Profile Manager. So let's change one of these profiles. So let's do TechRidge. So once I type it in exactly how it's written above, so a capital T and a capital R, I hit Enter. And now what do I want to do? Well, let's view the password. So type one, hit Enter. And now we can see the key, which is make sure to subscribe. Aha. So do we want to make any more changes with TechRidge? Of course we do. Since I'm illustrating what to do with this program. So let's do Y. So let's change the priority. So as you saw from up top, here is Rainbow Cloud Advance. I want to move TechRidge above that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to change the priority. So I'm going to type in two. I do want to change it. I want to make TechRidge the number one spot. So do I want to make any more changes to TechRidge? I do, but let's see if it's actually been updated. So right now you see TechRidge is now at the top above Rainbow Cloud Advance. So let's continue to make some changes to TechRidge. So do I want to change the connection mode? Yes. So I'm going to type in three. I do want to change the connection mode, so type in Y. And I want to change it from right now it's automatic. So every time I'm in range of TechRidge, and since it's my first Wi-Fi profile, my computer is going to connect to TechRidge. I wanted to do this manually. So I want to press one. And now the connection type is manual. And so do I want to make any more changes? Well, yes, I do want to make some changes. So what do I want to do? Well, now that I've changed it to manual, I find that I don't want TechRidge anymore on my Wi-Fi profiles. So I'm going to delete the profile by pressing four. Are you sure I want to delete? Yes, I do. And now when I press any key, TechRidge is no longer on my Wi-Fi profiles. And that is basically how you're going to manage your Wi-Fi networks using this TechBit menu. So what does this tech-based menu run off of? Well, it runs off of a series of command prompt codes that you can actually use for yourself. So some people are not as familiar with running these command prompt codes, so I made a text-based menu. But if you want to use command prompt codes, here is the way and the final way to manage your Wi-Fi network. So to open up the command prompt, type in CMD into the search and run it as administrator. Now you're going to have to input some codes. These codes are going to be in the description for you to copy and paste. So the first one we want to do is see all the, the Wi-Fi profiles that we've connected to. So the first one to do that is this code right here. So make sure to copy it from the description and right click. And now we're going to show the profiles. So here are the profiles. We got TechRich, we got Rainbow Cloud Advance, et cetera, et cetera. So how are we going to see the information we want to request? Well, the first thing we're going to do is the way to find the password for a specific profile. For this one, we're going to use TechRich. So again, you're going to copy and you're going to paste it, replacing the name right here with the name of your Wi-Fi profile. So take, for example, instead of TechRich, we would use Netgear 5G. So here we go. So the key content for this Wi-Fi profile is make sure to subscribe. But what if we want to change the priority of the Wi-Fi profile? So we're going to open it up and we're going to change the priority in this code. So we're going to copy what is written here and we're going to paste it right here. This time, remember to change the name to whatever Wi-Fi name you want and also change the priority number to whatever priority you want to choose. So take, for example, TechRich is already at the top spot, so one won't do anything. But let's change it down to the fifth spot. Now, when we type in show profiles, you'll see that TechRich is now at the one, two, three, four, fifth spot. There we go. So what if we want to change it from the connection from manual to automatic or automatic to manual? Well, that is in another code right here. 
So currently TechRich is set to automatically connect. So let's change it to manual. Now it's on manual. So when we look at the key name, we'll see that it is going to be manually, connection manually. So let's change it this time to auto. Now we will see that is connecting automatically. So there we go. Now here's the final way and that is to delete a profile. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete TechRich and we're going to go right here and we're going to actually we're going to copy and paste and then hit enter. Now TechRich is deleted. So once we go to show profiles again, TechRich is nowhere to be seen. And that is how to manage wireless networks in Windows 10. Anyways, this has been a TechRich video. Make sure to like and subscribe.